guys, welcome back. Today I have for you a huge drugstore slash affordable makeup haul. I got so many good things. Well, they look good. I always have really high hopes when it comes to drugstore makeup and the stuff that I got looks promising. So I actually went out on the hunt for the new L'Oreal concealer and I ended up finding that and so many more goodies. So I went to Ulta, Target, and I ended up finding the concealer at Walmart. So those are usually the three places that I go when it comes to finding my drugstore makeup. Sometimes I will go out to CVS or Rite Aid, but in general, Ulta, Walmart, and Target are my jam when it comes to getting my drugstore stuff. I also did get some stuff from Sally's Beauty Supply, which I know that's not really a drugstore, but they do have like drugstore pricing, at least the stuff that I got. So I'm gonna show you guys some things towards the end of the video. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy. As always, don't forget to grab a snack. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the haul. Okay, told you. Ulta, Target, Walmart, Sally's, lots of stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick and choose. I'm gonna start off with Ulta. So the first thing that I got is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade. You guys know my obsession with brow pomades. I literally use a brow pomade every time I do my makeup. I just can't live without it. And this one looked really promising and they had, I think like five or six shades. So I got the shade Deep Brown because I've been really into a darker brow lately and the medium brown looked like it was gonna be a little bit too cool tone for my brow. So I just went with this one and let me just open it up and see what it looks like you do get like a little brush with it which I think is pretty cool I mean it comes with a spoolie I have a brush that I really like so I'm probably not going to use that but that's convenient oh even this color looks a little bit of like a cool tone shade but I mean it looks pretty good it kind of looks like their gel studio black liner in black is black like the packaging is very similar I feel like for me personally pomades are hit or miss I know what I like when it comes to a pomade so I can be a little picky with them but in general for the most part I do like a lot of drugstore pomades so I'm excited about that speaking of brows I did get a tinted brow mascara from NYX this is not new I just wanted a backup of this because I totally ran out of mine it like completely dried out on me because I used it so much I literally had my tinted brow mascara since last March it's just January. That's kind of embarrassing, but it lasted so long. I was like, I'm not getting rid of it until it completely dries out. So I finally got a new one and I actually got the shade black this time. The shade that I was using was espresso and it wasn't as dark as you would think. And even this color, it's black, but it doesn't look black. Like it's actually like a super dark brown. And one of you guys actually recommended this color to me. So I'm going to try this out. Cause like I said, I've been really into a darker brow lately, but this brow mascara is the bomb diggity. Makes my brows nice and full and fluffy. It keeps them in place all day. They won't melt away through heat, sweating, crying, whatever. It's just such a great brow mascara and it's under $10, so love it. I also did get two eyeshadow palettes from NYX and you guys are gonna be so proud of me because they're not neutral shades. I know that so many of you guys want me to do more colorful looks and I'm telling you I will. I just need to get inspo and I need to practice more because I'm a neutral person. I love my neutral colors, but I wanted to get these to step out of my comfort zone. So these are the NYX Ultimate Edit eyeshadow palettes and these are so cute because they're tiny the first one in here is doesn't have a name but it's just like a really really colorful one the shades look beautiful and matte I actually have tried NYX shadows before and I really like them and the other one is also pretty bright I'm surprised these don't have names on them I'm trying to find like the name but oh it does say it on the back okay just kidding so the super bright one is the brights palette and then the other one it's a little bit more toned down it's called Phoenix. To be honest, swatching them, they don't look amazing, but that's one of the reasons I don't like swatching because swatches are hit or miss. You never know exactly how something's gonna look until you actually apply it with your brushes and once you prime your lids and everything. So that's why I don't really like to base my reviews and be biased just based off of swatches, but I'm excited for these. I also did get these lashes. These are the Ardell 3D Faux Mink Lashes, and at Ulta, these were buy two, get one free. So I got the style 854. I also got the style 853, and then, oh, I got another 854. So for me, Ardell lashes are hit or miss. I really love the Demi Wispies. They're super natural. The regular Wispies are really pretty. The Double Wispies, there's some that I really like, and then some I'm not a huge fan of. So I'm curious to see how these are gonna work, but they do look really pretty, so hopefully, yeah, they'll be good. Okay, I got some things from Revlon and I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about Revlon a lot anymore. It's kind of one of those hit or miss brands. I mean, I love their Color Stay Foundation, but in general, I don't really see a lot of people talking about them. I don't talk about them either. Anyways, so I got this Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer. To be honest, I don't know about this. I mean, when I was looking at it in stores, I was like, eh, I mean, eh, it has, or at least it looks like it has glitter in it 
which I'm not a fan of when it comes to my primers, but it does look really pretty. If that doesn't work for me, like all over my face, I'm thinking I could even just apply it sort of like on the high points of my face and that could be really pretty because the color looks beautiful and kind of has a really light rose scent. Nothing crazy, but it says it's supposed to be hydrating and illuminating. You can place a few drops into your hands or you could mix it in with your foundation. So stuff like this for me, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm usually not a huge fan of things like this, but I figured I would give this a try because, you know, why not? And then I also did get the new Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. I'm pretty sure this isn't like super new, but this is the first time that I've seen this powder in person. It's been sold out for a while because I have their Candid Concealer and I actually really like it. I've been using it and it's pretty good, but I saw this powder and I was like, let me give that a try because I love translucent powder. It's like one of my favorite things. I don't really use pressed powders anymore unless I'm like setting my face or blotting, but for underneath my eyes and like to bake and all that, translucent powder for me is the way to go. So this one is in the shade 001. The only thing is I only saw two shades in this powder, but hopefully this would be a universal shade for me. Next up, I got a new highlighter. So this is the Revlon Light It Up Highlighter. This reminded me so much of Trophy Wipe. I don't know why I'm so attracted to this color because I'm like so fair at the moment, but this color is just like everything to me. I feel like it's so universal on so many different skin tones. It's very flattering and you could use it on your face or on your eyes and it's just stunning. So Trophy Wife is my jam. That's such a beautiful highlight. But when I saw this, I was like, um, could that be another trophy wife? I mean, just touching it, it feels super smooth. Looks pretty. I mean, it doesn't look as pigmented as Trophy Wife, just like swatching it. But again, I don't really like to base things off of swatches, but I will of course let you guys know about that. That looks stunning. I'm just obsessed with this shade. If you are like tanner, darker, deeper skin tone, you need to get this color because I mean, it looks really pretty, like I think on lighter skin tones, but on darker skin tones, I feel like this would be like out of this world amazing. Next up, I got this Revlon, or just kidding, Makeup Revolution Bake and Blot Powder. So this one is in the shade Banana Light. They had a light one and then they had a banana deep shade. I'm pretty sure KKW Beauty has like a powder that looks kind of similar to this. I don't know. I don't have it. I probably honestly won't get it either, but this looked very interesting. So like I said, I usually don't bake or like bright up my eyes with powders like this anymore, but I was like, why not? Like it's makeup revolution. It looks really good and just touching it, it feels very velvety and smooth, which I'm all about. I also did get this Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Powder Foundation. I don't really use powder foundations to be honest honest with you, I just prefer a liquid. The last powder foundation that I used was actually from Maybelline, the Mineral Powder Powder Foundation. No, what's it called? Mineral Power Powder Foundation. It came in like this little round compact and I used to use that in high school all the time. So that's the last time that I used to use a powder foundation to be honest. But I saw this and I was like, maybe this could be really good when I'm on the go if I'm doing like a really quick 10 minute makeup look and I just don't have a lot of time and I want some coverage. And I really love the Maybelline Super Stay Full foundation. That's actually one of my favorite drugstore foundations. So I was like, this is probably really, really good. So I got the shade 220 Natural Beige. For me, powder foundations usually work the best if I just do concealer underneath and then I just set and just to give you a little bit more coverage without being too much. Okay, this is super random, but I got these two Essence makeup brushes. I had no idea that they even had makeup brushes. They were kind of like stored away in the cut in the Essence section. And I was like, let me give these a try. They look really good. They were only $2 a piece. And lately, for some reason, I just have an obsession with like just random makeup brushes from like TJ Maxx or Walmart or anywhere and there's just so many great makeup brushes out there that I'm like I need more I love them so um, I got just a really fluffy blender brush and then I got a smoky eyes brush which could be perfect for blending out shadow on the lower lash line so these look really promising for the price I mean they feel really soft too so I'm excited. And then speaking of essence, I got another one of my Shine 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 Wet Look lip glosses. This is just a clear lip gloss that I feel like every single person who is a makeup lover needs to have a clear lip gloss in their collection, and especially this one because it's only $3. The smell is amazing. It's a really creamy, nice formula. It's not goopy or sticky, and you could top this off pretty much with anything. I mean, you can wear it on its own. You could top it off with a nude lip liner, lipstick, liquid lipstick, a bolder color, whatever. It's just a classic clear lip gloss, but mine is like so 
so nasty. There's like just a bunch of lip products in it because I use it all the time and it's running pretty low. So I just decided to get it back up and it's super affordable. So like, why not? And then I got two lip products from NYX. I feel like NYX always has new lip products out. Like every single time I go into Ulta, they have some sort of new lip product. And I mean, they had like three different kinds, but I went with these. So these are the candy stick glowy lip colors, basically just like lip glosses. And of course I went with the nudes. They have a bunch of crazy colors, but I just decided to keep it very simple, very, very simple. You know what I appreciate about Ulta is the fact that they have like samples, or not samples, testers. <laughs> testers of the makeup in the drugstore section. I feel like that's super helpful. I mean, they don't have it with every single product, but for a lot of the products they do, and I love that. But yeah, these smell just like candy. Like they don't have a vanilla scent, but they literally just smell like a candy, like a, I don't know, like a sour patch watermelon type of thing. They smell really good. Okay, so I got two different shades. The first one is like a baby pink, which typically, to be honest with you, I don't love the baby pink, but this one looked really pretty. It didn't look too, too pink. And the other one that I got is in the shade S'more Please, which is like a cool tone, but it's like a beigey color. It's so pretty. So got two nudes, of course, because like, um, yeah, the nude lip colors are my weakness. We're done with Ulta. Let's move into Target. Target, to be honest, wasn't very impressive. They didn't have much like of anything. Okay. So the first thing that I got is the e.l.f. The New Classics eyeshadow palette. So I actually have both of their other eyeshadow palettes. They have like a really colorful one, which I actually ordered on e.l.f.'s website like last week. So I saw this one at Target and I wasn't going to get this when I ordered on e.l.f.'s website online and I, I didn't <laughs> but then I saw this in person and I was like you know what that's actually really pretty and I'm not the biggest fan of cool tones but these cool tones look a very promising and just very wearable and just nice and I love these elf eyeshadows they're very pigmented very beautiful and I think this palette is stunning elf has just been killing it and fun fact elf was actually the first brand that I ever ordered online with so I remember I was a sophomore in high school I had never ordered anything online because I was just always scared and I went on elf's website and I spent like $25 and that was at the time where all of their things were like one to three dollars and I just love elf they will always have a special place in my heart and then shocker but my target actually had violet voss which I was like oh did not expect that so I just got three pairs of lashes because I actually love violet voss lashes and I'm obsessed and of course they're all like up my alley like my perfect style like if I had a lash they would probably look like these because they're dramatic but they're not too dramatic so they don't take away from your makeup look and they don't look too overpowering on your eyes or too heavy or anything like that and these are faux mink lashes by the the way. And I've tried all of these styles before, but I was really excited to see them at Target because it's like so much more convenient than just like having to order lashes online. Next up, we have Walmart. Walmart for me was the most impressive. They had like a lot of brand new stuff. So the first thing that I got is this Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. I was actually trying to find the Pons. I believe Pons has like a makeup remover and they didn't have it at my Walmart or it was like totally sold out or something. But I saw this and I was like, let me give that a try because I'm always doing down for trying like a more affordable makeup remover. I love my pharmacy makeup cleansing balm and honestly this looks just like it, like the inside of it. It's like a green color. A lot of makeup removers that I've tried from the drugstore irritate my eyes really bad but I'm hoping that this will be good, hopefully. Next up I got this L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. So I love the e.l.f. dewy mist. I also really like the Milani dewy mist and I think NYX has one too that I really like. I don't remember but I really like a lot of setting sprays at the drugstore so I saw this and I was like oh my god the packaging is a Adorable. So it says you can use this to prime and hydrate, set your makeup, or to refresh your makeup. So I'm going to spray some to see what it smells like. Um, it kind of smells a little bit like, a little bit like roses, a little bit like hairspray, a little bit like alcohol. I like the spritzer though. It's very like just a nice fine mist, which I love. I don't like when stuff like shoots out at your face. So I'm, I'm like that. I'm excited. And then this is the main reason why I even went and got all this stuff. I finally found the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. So I ended up getting two shades. I got shade Cashmere and Cashew, which it's so funny because one of you guys DM'd me and you told me about this concealer and you told me that my shades would probably be this. And then I saw them in person and I was like, you know me. So the packaging looks really nice, like very high end. I'm super impressed with the drugstore lately and just how they've been killing it. I mean, this applicator looks phenomenal. It looks huge, kind of like Tarte Shape Tape. I've heard that this is a dupe for Shape Tape, so we shall see about that. Definitely be on the lookout for a video featuring this concealer coming very soon. And then I also did get the Rimmel Stay Matte Soft Matte Concealer. And I, when I first saw this, I was like, 
this be a dupe for Fenty? Because Fenty has like a soft matte finish concealer. And I love the Stay Matte line. I've talked about it so much, but their translucent powder is amazing. I've even tried their foundation and I really like it. And I got the shade Linen and Vanilla. I always usually get two shades in concealers just in case I have to mix or just in case whatever. And they had 20 shades in this concealer, which for Rimmel, I think that's pretty good. And then I also did find this Rimmel Maxi Blush. They had, I believe, four or five different blush shades. This is one of the lighter ones. It's just like a really pretty like peachy color. It looks matte. It just looks classic, but it looks nice. I'm so surprised that Rimmel has like so many new things. I mean, they only had two new things from what I've seen, but this looks very nice, very promising, and touching it, it feels really silky smooth. For blushes, I feel like they're usually hit or miss when it comes to swatches. I mean, the swatches usually are very light, but when you actually apply them, that's when you can see that really pretty flush on the cheeks, and I feel like that's gonna be the case with that blush. And the shade is so cute, it's called Sweet Cheeks. Oh yeah, I also went to the drugstore to find these new Maybelline City bronzers. So these are like contour powder shades, and they only had, from what I've seen, three shades, but maybe they could have more, correct me if I'm wrong, but I got the the shade 200 and 300. So the shade 200 looks a little bit more of an ashy tone color. I feel like this could be really good for contouring. And then the shade 300 is much more warm. It's a little bit darker. So I feel like this could be like my self tan bronzer or even a bronzer now, but I mean, it's very, very rich and just like intense, but it looks so nice and it feels super smooth and creamy. The last thing that I got from Walmart is the CoverGirl Get In Line Liquid Liner. This one is in major matte black. This is my favorite liquid liner at the drugstore at the moment. It's super black, very matte when it dries down. The tip is super easy to work with. I love the handle. I love everything about this eyeliner. It's amazing. And I still have some product left, but I'm like, I might as well just get it back up because it's amazing. And I don't want to be in the middle of doing my wings and have to run out. Honestly, I could probably just get rid of all my other liquid liners because a lot of the ones that I have, they don't dry down matte. They kind of have like a shiny finish and this one does, which is why I love it so much. So that is everything that I got that is like drugstore makeup. Now the next thing that I got are from the brand Collab at Sally's Beauty Supply. I also did get some stuff from Palladio and I got some lashes as well from Ardell. So didn't get much from Sally's but like 60 some dollars later and I'm like oh my god makeup is so expensive. So first things first I wanted to get another one of these Collab Set the Stage translucent powders. This one's actually different than the one that I have. The one that I have is in, comes with a black cap but they didn't have my shade in that one. I'm in the shade Porcelain Ivory in that one and I just didn't see it there at all so I just went with the soft focus translucent finishing powder this is just like a universal color and I love this powder the one with the black cap seriously I just have not found anything to look as good as this powder like it's just I don't know it's just magical and I made the mistake in my 2018 beauty favorites of saying that I thought this was going to be discontinued because I was getting so many messages from you guys saying that you've heard that it was discontinued. It's not being discontinued. I never said that it was. So for those of you messaging me about that, don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I got this and this powder is like 15 bucks, but it lasts such a long time and it looks just so magical on the skin. It doesn't give you a white cast in photos and I just love it. I mean, I feel like this is going to be just as good as the black cap one, hopefully, but I'll let you guys know once I use that. And then I also did get a backup of my Palladio rice paper blotter sheets. I love these. I actually got these per Casey Holmes recommendation a few months back and I've been obsessed with them ever since. These will absorb all the oil in your face but it won't take away any makeup and then once you like blot your face and then you set with like a translucent powder or just kind of touch up with any blotting powder it looks like your makeup is fresh. So these are the real deal. So I just got the shade translucent. They have a bunch of different shades which I didn't know that was a thing when it comes to blotting tissues but they do which I think is cool. So I just got the regular one. Since I love those so much, I decided to get the Rice Primer Mattifying and Perfecting. It just looked really intriguing to me. I'm all about trying out new mattifying primers for my oily forehead, forehead, <laughs> for my oily forehead. So I got this and it looks really cute. And then I also did get the Palladio Pressed Rice Powder again, just to kind of go with the theme. I love my Fenty Beauty blotting powder. That's like my favorite, but I'm always down for trying to find a dupe for that because it is pricey, but this one looked really good. And the final thing that I got are some more lashes. So these are from Ardell. These are the Mega Volume and Double Up. These are the ones that I love from Ardell. The ones that I showed you guys earlier from Ulta, I haven't tried and I don't know about those and how they're going to be, but their volume and their double up line are 
the bomb. So, so good. So I got this style 253, which these are very dramatic and just very wispy and just beautiful. And then I also got the double 113s, which are a little bit more natural, at least for me. I know for some people these are dramatic, but for me, these are kind of like an everyday lash that I figured I would just get just to kind of have in my collection. So that is everything that I got and I got a lot of good stuff. I'm so excited. So new videos are coming very soon featuring all these new products. So be on the lookout. I'll probably do like a get ready with me first impressions wear test. Yeah, just lots of new drugstore videos coming. So stay tuned and get excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these. I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for all your continued love and support. I appreciate you so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you in a few days in my next one. Bye.